All new at 5 o'clock, the family of a man killed execution style is asking for help in solving his murder. It's been 10 years since someone killed Chad McMurray. Despite all that time, his parents are still holding out hope someone will remember something and give them closure. CBS 4's Ted Counton tells us where detectives stand in this murder mystery. From a little kid, he never met a stranger. Everybody was his friend. June McMurray is talking about her son, Alfred, who was known to everyone as Chad, the guy with the big laugh and infectious smile. Ten years ago this week, he was murdered in his Oakland Park home in the 1300 block of Northeast 34th Street. You always know this day is, um, is going to come each year, but you don't know how you're going to respond. Shannon Pruitt says Chad was the love of his life. They were together a year before he said someone broke into their home, tied up Chad, and shot him in the back of the head. To know Chad was to love Chad. He uh, was full of life, and he loved everyone that he encountered. Family tells us that Chad was in recovery for previous drug use and was very involved with Narcotics Anonymous. Detectives have not ruled out robbery as a motive or that Chad's old life could have played a role in his murder. Detectives tell us there is DNA evidence in this case. However, they don't know if it's the killer or if it's someone else. But at this point, there have been no matches. Because Chad was a big guy, investigators believe there may have been more than one person involved and that Chad maybe knew one of them since there was no forced entry. From the beginning, detectives believe the key to solving this case is Chad's 2006 silver Toyota Tacoma pickup truck. It was stolen. It was found at a Lauder Hill apartment complex in the 4400 block of Northwest 19th Street. The suspects did certain things to the vehicle in an attempt to eliminate physical evidence that I I believe would have been witnessed because they would have spent a considerable amount of time doing it. Shannon tells us even 10 years later, it doesn't get any easier. When I think of just the different moments, you know, just something as simple as getting to go out to eat or going grocery shopping, uh, I'll never uh, have that with him. We want to know why. June realizes she may never have answers, but wants the killer to know something. I know whoever did it is somebody's child. I want them to know that although I have forgiven them, they still have to pay for their actions. The detective in this case said there is no such thing as a cold case, that every case is just one phone call away from being solved. And in this case, what he believes is that someone here at this apartment complex, which used to be the Brampton Court Apartments or the one right next door, may have seen something, may have seen that victim's truck here in the parking lot. If you have information that can help, give Broward Crime Stoppers a call. That number is 954-493-TIPS. In Lauderhill, Ted Scouton, CBS 4 News.